if I do a right thing for my glory, for my credit, so people like me more, th- that's not what God wants me to do. It's not do the right thing so that God, so that the person, the individual, or the church gets credit for it. It's you do the right thing because God asks you to for his glory. It's some of it's just mindset, some of it's attitude, some of it's perception. But at the end of the day, God knows. And we just think for a second, um, and this theme will come out throughout this time frame, this next few weeks probably, but at the end of the day, we get the results we want. We do what we want to do. We do it the way we want to do it most of the time. I don't want to do that, therefore I don't. A marriage. A marriage will be as healthy and as happy as two individuals want to be. Or marriage can be as stressful and as conflict-ridden as two individuals want to be. Our relationship with God can be as, what are the word you want to use, tight, as faithful, as, what are the word you want to use, as we want to be. God's drawing us into a deeper relationship with him, constantly. For some of us, we don't know Christ our Savior yet. He's drawing you a relationship. Some of you know Christ your Savior for a long time, but you're dead and you're stagnant in your relationship with him. He's drawing you a deeper relationship with him. Your spiritual development is the most important thing in the world. It's more important than anything about your life. Because it affects everything. It's, it's seeking first God and his way of doing things affects every single thing we do. We'll be a better dad, a better husband, a better father, a better employer and better employee. Better mom, better wife, better... Well, everything will be better if we do things God's way. It's that kind of a concept, right? But what happens is, well, I, you know, I'm just going to go to church. If, if that's the expectation, I'm just going to go to church. I'm good. I, 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 I get a gold star. I went to church today. That's it. If that's the attitude we have, then that's the relationship we have with God. God wants more. He wants more from each of us. Now, it's not, well, Tim's the pastor of the church. It has nothing to do with it. Being the pastor of the church just means that I have some responsibilities that someone who's not the pastor doesn't have. But as a follower of Christ, it's all the same. 